Hello, 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 and welcome to Emotional Response ER. This is Life Coaching with Ink Ivory. How are you this wonderful day? This is Tuesday. We are joining again for emotional management, emotional wellness, interpersonal communication skills. We are live and direct again, touching bases on the things that matter. Matter in your life, matter in your relationships, and matter in your development as a leader in your company, as a leader in your house, as a leader that your kids can look up to. All of these topics play a significant role in who you are in your everyday life. So I'm excited. I'm excited mainly because I know it's another day to grow, another day to be better, another day to aspire to be more than what you were yesterday. Today, I'm covering how to take care of yourself while your significant other is away. And by that, I mean away out of town, on a business trip, a way to see family. The reality is you are not going to be glued to the waist of your significant other. So there will be times where you need to take care of yourself while they're away on extensive time periods. And the best way to start taking care of yourself is knowing yourself. Knowing yourself, your shortcomings, your up, your up risings. Things that make you work every day. Because the more you know that, the more you know how to tend to yourself. Whether it's a business trip, family affairs, good things or bad things, there will be times where your significant other will be apart from you. And how do you treat and handle yourself is very key. First, I want to talk about how to manage your emotions. Because that plays an intricate role in you taking care of yourself. And emotionally, it's okay to miss someone. It's okay to dive in that emotion and stay there. It's not a negative thing. If y'all are living together, you get used to and accustomed to them coming home at a certain time, them waking up at a certain time. You get used to their activity through the house or the apartment. And so... A miss you phase will occur. And whether you're a man or a woman, it is normal. Let me emphasize that. It is normal. You wouldn't be human if you wasn't. And so embrace that reality. You don't always have to vocalize it. Because depending on your significant other, sometimes it's necessary to express, I miss you, sometimes it's not. And so you got to understand the dynamics of your relationship while you're managing your, your emotions. Because you don't, you won't, don't want to be categorized <clears throat> as the clingy type, like you can't survive if they're apart from you. So you don't want to send it over extensive, I miss you. What are you doing? Where are you at? Are you breathing? Come on, calm down. Calm down. Manage your emotions. Because a lot of times when it's such a frequent activity of trying to get in contact with them, it's because of your need to feel secure. And... This is why taking care of yourself is so key. 
because if the phone doesn't ring and if a text message is not received, that don't mean you fall in the shambles. That don't mean you go off the wire. That don't mean you lose control. That don't mean you keep calling, you keep texting. Because let me tell you this, one thing about reality, reality will be reality, regardless of what fictitious story you make up in your head. And so sometimes when we don't feel as secure as we should, we'll make up these things. Well, well, what is he doing? Or what is she doing if she's not answering my text or my phone call? And then we make up these these fictitious storylines in our head that we need to be up there with Stephen King and John, and uh, Spiebel, Spielberg. Excuse me. Spielberg. We need to be up there with the production team in Hollywood. Because we make such a detailed picture that we lose our mind, literally. And it's not a point of insanity, but man, is it so far from reality, for sure. We let anxiety kick in. Then we are our unsurety. And then we just moving and thinking and doing it. Next thing you know, when a person does call or return our text, we already in a whole nother world. We Our disposition is already set based on a fictitious world we done made up. And God forbid a text come instead of a call because then we put the tone and we put the whole context of the text in whatever realm we're in right then and there. So, hey, I'm tired. Talk to you tomorrow. Long day. We might interpret that, well, who is he with? Why he had to text that? Why he had to text me instead of call? Or who is she with? What is she doing? Why is she so tired? Work is not that deep. Calm down calm yourself take care of yourself mainly because you only have one body second you only have one heart third they are very fragile as strong as we are and it in the same breath we are just as fragile and our our body can't house the intensity of certain emotions that we have and we need to be mindful of that next thing you know walking around with a headache well what you got a headache for take care of yourself I can't stress it enough take care of yourself and I know when it comes to managing your emotions, your past will naturally play an intricate role in it. Mainly because of different hurts, different disappointments, mis-expectations. And when those things come up, we need to categorize them as such. Do we label them the present and say, Well, because this went on in the past, this is what's going on right now. No. No. Things might look the same. They still might may not be the same. And so you have to find a level of security within yourself that whether a phone call is given or a text is given or it's not given, you need to... Take care of yourself. Because you end up rolling into a very unproductive realm. Now you can't work. Now you can't tend to the kids. Now you can't take care of things that you need to be taking care of that day. You're so emotionally flustered that you're not free. You're not free to get the vibes that are going on in the world presently that could benefit you. 
that could benefit your future, that could benefit where you're going. And that's okay. That's okay. And so, as you turn down the intensity of your emotions, acknowledge what they are, acknowledge what's going on. I feel unsure because of this. I, I'm scared of this. I know me, and I, with my counseling, I can only give it as a suggestion, but there are many ways of how people cope through life and how people are productive in their life. But I know for me, surely, when I'm in shambles emotionally, whether I'm worrying, whether I'm anxious, whether I'm unsure, whether I don't I, I, I don't feel as secure as I usually feel every day, I pray. I pray. And it helps you take care of yourself. Because you lean on someone else, which is God. You lean on God with your emotions. And you might say, well, I don't pray that much. Look, <clears throat> I'm the most non traditional spiritual person. I'm very spiritual. But I'm not religious. And that's the difference. I'm into the relationship with God. So you can be driving with your eyes wide open praying. Just talking. Making it a conversation. You can be working out. But you have to take care of yourself. And people do it in many ways. Meditation. I, 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 I'm a firm believer in meditation. Meditation is like... Imagine you're in a room full of helium balloons. And there's a... Let's say 25 helium balloons floating in the air. Meditation is basically a matter of just pulling the strings of them balloons and wrapping them into a bundle and harnessing them and keeping them set in a certain place. They're not all over the place anymore. And that's kind of what it is with your thoughts. You got to bring your thoughts into captivity and calm down. And become centered. Centered enough to get present vibes. Get on the right frequency where you can flourish in your everyday life. You don't have to be so deep and like in your goals and your success. No, in your everyday life, in the next moment. You have to be present. You have to be present enough that when your significant other do call or text, you're not full of all these emotions based on a made-up world that you made up in your head because of your insurity, your insecurity, your anxiety, you worrying. You need to be present because they might just need to vent during their break and then they could go on with their day. And then y'all stay on a good frequency and you don't stress them out. Some battles that we create with our significant other, it's just a matter of us having a battle inwardly pertaining to ourselves. And we need to resolve it with that with ourselves so we could be more loving in our relationship. And until we identify that, we will constantly bring unnecessary tension, unnecessary friction, unnecessary drama into the relationship. 